In Pacifica, massive waves pummeled the pier today, drawing dozens who wanted to get a close glimpse of Mother Nature in action. That guy's okay. They were willing to take the punishment there. The big waves certainly fun to watch, but they're also perfect for rescue training. KPI X5's Don Ford takes us out to sea with the Coast Guard. The pros who were stunned by what they saw. Twenty to twenty-five foot waves. Today is a training day, and two specialized Coast Guard boats are heading several miles out the gate, out to some of the roughest, the largest, most unpredictable seas of the season. But when they arrived, even these professionals paused when they saw the ferocity of the ocean. They call it the potato patch. It'll start breaking into patch, and it just rolls all the way across. They stay on the edge in 15-foot swells. It's all about training in real-life conditions. And we want to make sure that our crews know what to expect uh, if we were to have to go out. So. Running a 47-foot, 900-horsepower boat in these waves requires experience. Experience you get only one way. Then there's this. A special practice dummy is tossed and retrieved. But everyone is on high alert watching over their shoulders for a rogue wave. The famous rogue wave, well, here's what it actually is. When two waves are traveling, one slows, the other catches up, climbs the back of the first, creating a monster nearly twice as tall as the original. And that phenomenon is not quite as unusual as you might think. This is a small rogue wave, started as two 20-footers. See how it towers above all the others? Difficult to predict, doesn't last long, and it can be dangerous. The Coast Guard says for the next few days, be very careful. Just wanted to make sure you guys knew the conditions that were out there, all right? Yeah, not going to go out there. All right, you guys have a good day. Be safe. Coast Guard Station Golden Gate is the busiest search and rescue station in the nation. On the Pacific Ocean, Don Ford, KPIX 5.